This is Skittles and she's my very first better fish. She's a female koi placat better that I've had for a month now and I want to share my observations and experiences with her to help other beginners who are thinking of getting a better fish. I purchased Skittles on eBay as my local pet stores usually only have long finned betters and I knew that I wanted a short finned placat from the very start. She came via 24 hour recorded delivery and had plenty of packaging to protect her during the shipping process. The bag she came in did contain an Indian almond leaf but I'm really not sure if that offers any better benefit to the fish during the shipping process. While she was in my drip bucket acclimatising to her new water I removed some of the floating plants from her tank to make sure that she had room to breathe because the red root floaters were starting to take over. Once she'd been in the drip bucket for around an hour I netted her up and placed her into her new home. As expected due to being in a new environment she retreated to the rear of the tank and hid between the plants so I turned the light off in her tank for a little while. I could see her swimming around in the ambient light from the room so I decided to turn the tank lights back on to see how she was doing. She came out of her hiding spot and started swimming around to explore her new tank and even came up to the tank glass a few times to get a good look at me but she really didn't seem impressed with her new human. It didn't take long for her to find her first set of tank mates and she decided to get a good look at some of the Armano shrimp in her tank and try and work out if they were food or if she was food. Thankfully the size of the Armano shrimp seemed to have discouraged her from trying to eat them and a month later both of them are still in that tank and still eating the algae and leftover food. I decided to add some frozen and brine shrimp to the tank to see if she was hungry but by this time she'd noticed one of the cherry shrimp. Unlike with the Armano shrimp, Skittles seems to have decided that the cherry shrimp were the perfect size to fit in her mouth and her hunting behaviour kicked in. This tank was previously a shrimp only tank and contained two Armano shrimp and a full cherry shrimp colony. I did try to move the majority of the cherry shrimp over to my 29 gallon community tank to have them eat some of the algae during a bloom but there was still a few of them left in this tank. Thankfully the cherry shrimp that she initially tried to eat managed to escape so I had a chance to try and get as many of them out as possible but I only managed to catch two. Unfortunately two of the cherry shrimp did remain in the tank and Skittles did manage to catch and eat them over the coming weeks. I decided to add a floating plastic ring that I purchased on Etsy to the tank to prevent the red root floaters from totally dominating the surface. Better fish are labyrinth fish so they have an additional organ that lets them breathe from the surface of the water. Not only does adding this floating ring guarantee that there's an open area for Skittles to breathe but it also lets me add food and watch her eat it to work out how many granules I should be adding per day. Speaking of feeding, within an hour of Skittles being in the tank she'd managed to find one of the bug bites bottom feeder granules that was added for the Armano shrimp. As you can see this is huge compared to her mouth but she was determined to eat it and kept spitting it out and breaking it down then taking it bit by bit until she could eat it all. Due to this I did decide to try and feed her some of the smaller bug bites tropical granules and she seemed to struggle with the concept of food granules at first. Initially she would try to eat them, spit them out, let them sink and then come back later once had taken on some water and were softer. I am a big fan of the Fluval Bug Bites Tropical Granules because the main ingredient in them is black soldier fly larvae where some better pellets on the market use wheat or some other plant based primary ingredient. Their macronutrient breakdown comes in at around 40% protein too making these an ideal food for a better fish. There is a better specific Bug Bites formula available in North America but I can't find it for sale here in the UK so I've been trying other brands but before I tried the other brands with her I did decide to try the Fluval Bug Bites Flakes because of the granules being such a big hit. Unfortunately just like a lot of fish in my other tanks Skittles just seem to stare at the flake food and then swims off after losing interest. So I tried some fish science better granules with her and she really did seem to enjoy them for about a week or two but now she's lost interest and she usually sucks them in and then spits them out and just leaves them for the Armano shrimp to eat in her tank. Another food that I tried with her is the Nanotropical formula from NT Labs. This is another food that's hit and miss with her though and sometimes she'll eat it without issue, sometimes she'll spit it out and leave it for the Armano shrimp to eat. Her favourite food definitely does seem to be frozen bloodworm though and she comes straight over as soon as I add the bloodworm to the tank and gobbles it up quickly. I do try to feed her bloodworm on Sundays as a treat meal and I try and drop two or three bloodworm in the tank per serving and offer two servings per day. She also seems to enjoy frozen Daphnia too and I try and give her frozen Daphnia as one of her main meals on a Wednesday. Skittles has three main hiding spots that she likes in this tank with this being her main one behind the driftwood and in front of the limnophilia. She also likes to hide here between the cryptocorn and her filter and she has another spot near the Anubius at the rear of the tank too but it is rarer that I see her hiding there. I keep my better fish in an Aqua L30 shrimp cube and it has a water volume of 8 US gallons which converts to around 30 litres making it a decent sized home for a better fish. I know a lot of people here in Europe do use this tank as a better tank but I'm really not 
not that big of a fan of it and I'm seriously considering upgrading to a Fluval Flex soon. The two main problems that I have with this tank is that in my opinion the stock filter is far too powerful for shrimp or a better fish and that's a primary purpose of this tank. Due to this I switched over to a sponge filter and so far it seems to be working well. It does the job and its water flow is really not that bad. Skittles has kind of worked out how the filter works but sometimes she still gets caught out by the bubbles from time to time. I use a cheap $10 USB air pump to run the sponge filter as it's cheap to purchase and cheap to run as it's just a 1 watt pump. The second problem that I have with this tank is the stock heater and unfortunately mine seems to have broken after around 6 months of use. It randomly started clicking around a week ago and it's starting to get these random marks on it. It is still functioning as I check the water temperature multiple times per day but I have picked up a cheap $10 filter. Now better tank size is a controversial topic but I plan to stick to tanks that are at least 8 US gallons or 30 litres in size moving forward for my betters. This offers plenty of swimming space for the better fish while also giving me plenty of space for live plants and hardscape in the tank. As you can see my better tank setup has several popular beginner friendly plants in there. Over in the back right of the tank we'll have Limnophilia sessile flora and it's just been replanted in this tank so it has seen better days and it's still adjusting. On the back left we have some Java moss grown on some driftwood and at the base of that there is some Anubias nana petite grown. In front of that we have a cryptocorn and then some Java moss grown on driftwood to the centre of the tank and then to the right back of that we have another cryptocorn. Down in the foreground we have two small cryptocorn hobbits grown as well. I also like to add surface plants in all of my tanks especially for better so because it does help to add some top cover for the fish and it also helps to manage the nitrogen cycle in the tank. For this tank I went with red root floaters but I have Amazon Frogbit in my 29 gallon community tank and Salvinia in my 12 gallon guppy tank and both of these would work well in this better tank. Along with tank size water parameters seems to be another area where there's some debate around what is ideal for a better fish. I try to maintain a water temperature of around 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius in this tank with a pH of around 6.7 and so far skittle seems to be doing fine. Just like all fish ammonia and nitrite levels should be kept as low as possible ideally 0 ppm but in my opinion everything over 0.25 ppm should be counted with a partial water change quickly. The combination of the floating plants the fast grown limnophilia and the moderate grown java moss in this tank with the sponge filter seem to manage the water parameters fine. Night rates are a slightly different story though as most fish can tolerate them in higher quantities than ammonia and nitrites. Still, the weekly partial water change that I do on this tank is enough to keep these in check and I've never had any problems with them at all. With this tank only having a water volume of around 8 US gallons, I also like to try and get as much loose plant matter out of the tank as possible or leftover food just to stop it decaying and spiking ammonia and nitrite levels during the weekly partial water change. So yeah, that's my first month with my very first better fish. She's definitely entertaining and very interesting to watch and I honestly think that betters are a great first fish for a lot of beginners out there.